Hey, I'm Staz. Hi, I'm Staz. Oh, I'm Staz. <laughs> <laughs> We're Staz. Which time's red? Which Staz? Staz. <laughs> I'm Staz. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Luke. And we are Red. Time's Red. Time's Red. Time's Red. Top Red. Good job. Hey, I'm Staz. Hi, I'm Scott. I'm Luke. And we're Tom's Red. Tom's Red. Tom's Red. Tom's Red. Tom's Red. <laughs> you know, I say, and we are, and then yeah, we'll say, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't want to go, and we're Tom's Red. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah. You're going to use that, aren't you? Cool. Every time to kind of hear some someone tell you and critique your, your craft and something you're passionate about, but, you know, these lot can tell you we're like a family, first and foremost, so whenever one of us is down or the other person... Family. Come along. Can you guys carry on this question? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it was hard, wasn't it? It was well odd. It was horrible. Yeah, as as he was saying, you know, we are like a family. I know it sounds like a cliche, but you know, genuinely, when this this kid was sixteen years old, he had he had nobody in the UK, and and we took him in, and and pretty much adopted him. He he was going to change his name, but he didn't. <laughs> uh, raised him up. You know, we we joined up uh, together in music. Raised him as a man and as a musician, and we all were like that with each other. That us. So whenever we get. You know, we've been through stuff together, so whenever stuff like, you know, the no's happen, we kind of go into autopilot. So, if he's, yeah. if he's feeling yeah. sad, we turn into the big brothers and we make sure he's alright, and then uh, we start our crying. Basically, on the, on the camera, uh, we was trying to keep strong. Um, so, you, you would see maybe his head go down or whatever, like, you know, and obviously, us two, we kind of keep strong. So, we're a bit older as well, so you kind of react like that, didn't you? Once you've been through a, a few experiences it's in your life. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of, you, you know, you get used to things like that. But obviously, as soon as the cameras are away, it's game. You yeah. know what I mean? Because obviously, that, that's our life dream. And it gets taken away from you. But, um, but we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> we were, uh, you know, because once, once we got the know, we, we jumped on the plane headed back to, to the UK. We went business as usual. Back Oops. to our many, many jobs. <laughs> trying to trying to live and, and do our music. We were in rehearsals. I didn't have a job. He didn't have a job. I actually just recently lost my job. Uh, he uh, so we jumped back in rehearsals back in the studio, and we were actually on a rehearsal day around at our house, uh, and and they arrived with a telephone with Louis Walsh on it. We are we're closer than people have have got to see on TV. We've been up through a lot of stuff together, but we don't dwell on that. We work hard as musicians. You know we know we're not perfect, but we feel like we've got a lot to give. The people that have heard our music that we write. They sort of they're bought into us as people. They can hear that there's a part of us and everything that we do, and, and we want the chance to show that on the show. We want the world to see it. We want Times Red to be, you know, I mean, I don't want to say the next big thing because that's a horrible, cliche thing to say. But you want the voiceover user to say Times Red, basically. Yeah, we want him to go Times Red. Yeah, and we love being, we love having fun on stage, man. That's what we're about. Enjoying yourself. It's not about the fame or the or the the celebrity driven status. It's just about getting to do what you love and then showing people how much you love doing it basically. Mm. And this competition is sick bro. <laughs> 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 this is so good man, like, honestly the experience. Like we've just done daybreak in this morning. Yeah. We met you would, normally we're we were in our cereal, we're in our, in our boxes just wishing we was there. <laughs> now we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, people look at us, they say three guys who sing. It's not the, the traditional setup. We're not. If you if you look at them more along the lines of, you know, the traditional boy bands, the Wanted, the JLSs, whatever. You know, uh, for us, no no disrespect to that. It's just not what we're doing. We're more along the lines of the script, uh, Maroon Five, Bruno Mars. And if you see us on live shows, you get an opportunity to really see that. We're we're a bit a bit older, not too old because it's. <laughs> we're, but we're, our music is about experience. There's a bit more grit to it, a bit more dirt to it. And I think people will, will latch onto that. Oh yeah, Ray said it, didn't they? <laughs> He said it now, we can't take it back. No, you said you would run through Trafalgar Square naked. He said that. About me. So he's going to run through Trafalgar Square naked. Yeah, so I've got to do it now, anyway. I might join you. I might join you, but I'll keep my pants on. What pants you got on? Because I'm not ready to release What pants you got on today? The Loch Ness Monster. What pants you got on today? What? What, these ones? What, like... Please! Come on, then, Duddy! You know what, Scott? That's mad. What ones are you got on, though? What are these on today? Whoa! Is that right? Oh, I don't know. He's not wearing it. Oh, Tindia. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, nothing. Oh, oh. The jungle. This is awkward. Sorry, man.